It's yep. so interesting working and you're working with leaders and, and high performance people who want to take it to the next level. Um, but, but a lot of times what comes along with that is the ego, right? There's a big ego. Well, and sometimes so, all the time. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> so, so how do you take that big ego, shrink it down and, and help them get past it? I would suspect that there's a lot of friction in this process. No, there isn't. There's no, there friction. isn't. Let me tell you why. Yeah. So the process eliminates friction okay. and I'll explain why. From my perspective, the relationship that I build with my clients is the single most important component of coaching. If you don't trust me, if you don't know that I'm 100,000% on your team and on your side and wanting everything you want, then you're not going to travel with me. You're going to say, you forget go. it. I'm not going. Travel time mm. is over. I'm done. So from the very beginning, the process is set up based on the daily communication and the way the coaches are trained to help you understand, like, I don't actually care what you do. You're not mm -hmm. here to answer to me. You're not accountable to me. That's not how this is set up. I'm here to help you understand how you're getting in your own way. I'm helping and I'm here to help you remove whatever it is that's blocking your progress. And I mm -hmm. do it with absolute conviction, love and compassion. And you see that you can hear it. It's oozing out of me. Right. Yeah. No, totally. Uh, you know, it, it's making me think a lot of, um, you know, can a leader. So we have a lot of uh, insurance agents that follow us that have agencies and we're all leading our teams. Right. It, essentially, we're all selling our teams on selling. Right. How can a leader sell them their team on selling if they don't feel it? Like well, how would you, what, what, what advice would you give? So again, leader? you know, it's very interesting because we coach leaders and we also train leaders to coach their team. So awesome. step one is helping leaders understand how their thinking is interfering with their performance and how their thinking is interfering with their team's performance. Mm. Okay. So yeah. from my perspective and we coach leaders of massive companies. And my perspective is that the way a leader thinks has the single most important impact on team performance. Crazy. So when we show him or her how their thinking impacts and has a trickle down effect, and we show them how their thinking and their behavior and their approach sometimes doesn't line up with the things that they really truly want, they're like, whoa, I never know, knew that. I never saw that. Hmm. Once we get them sort of aligned, then we say, let's teach you not only how your behavior is affecting others, but let's teach you how your team is thinking and let's teach you how to coach them so that their thinking is aligned with their goals and the goals of the organization. Yeah. That's right? crazy. Yep. Yeah, it's so important to find the find those those points of commonality, right? Well, it's not only points of sometimes it's not common, right? And that's oh. okay. But yeah. once the leader understands the mechanics, understands how important the role of thought and belief plays in performance, and they take responsibility for own th their own thoughts and and behaviors, then they're in a position to learn how to coach others. And the moment they learn how to coach others is the moment their leadership skills dramatically increase. So let me tell you something really interesting. I train all over the world and I usually work with uh, entrepreneurs who own sizable businesses. And so every time I train, before I train, I send out, let's call it a survey. So I've been collecting data for years and years and years. I have hundreds and hundreds of data points and I ask a bunch of questions, but there are two questions that are super important. I ask, mm. how equipped do you feel as a coach? In other words, evaluate your own coaching skills on a scale of one to 10. 
How good are you as a coach? The mm. next question I ask is, how satisfied are you with the performance of your team? Mm. And it's it's like, you ever see a chart where it's just like a straight line that goes up? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it is. The more a leader feels equipped as a coach, the more satisfied they are with the performance of their team. It's like a direct relationship, one-to-one. -one. Right. That's interesting. 